Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm a solutions architect at Pulumi. Pulumi is the infrastructure as code tool that allows you to manage resources in any cloud using real programming languages with support for over 130 platforms, including Azure, Datadog, Cloudflare, Snowflake, and more. You can write Pulumi programs in popular programming languages like TypeScript, Python, and C Sharp. Because Pulumi programs use real programming languages, Pulumi works with your favorite libraries, packages, test frameworks, IDEs, and tooling. Pulumi programs use the open source SDK and CLI. We also offer the commercial Pulumi Cloud platform available in the Azure Marketplace. With Pulumi's Azure Native Provider, you get same-day support for the full suite of Azure resources. No matter what service you're using in Azure, it's supported by the Azure Native Pulumi Provider. You can deploy your Azure resources with delivery pipelines in your CI-CD tool of choice. Pulumi has excellent support for GitHub Actions, Azure DevOps, and many other popular tools and services. Pulumi has recently released a new trio of features we call Pulumi Insights. With Pulumi Insights, you can gain valuable knowledge on your organization's cloud usage, as well as boost engineer productivity. The first feature of Pulumi Insights is Search. Using Pulumi Search, you can use a natural language or structure query to find details on resources in any cloud, in any environment, in your entire organization. Pulumi Search can help you find that needle in a haystack of cloud resources. The second feature of Pulumi Insights is Analytics. With Pulumi Analytics, not only do you get visualized intelligence on your organization's cloud usage right in the Pulumi Cloud Web UI, but you can also export all of your organization's Pulumi data to data warehouses like Snowflake, Azure Synapse, and others. From there, you can enrich your Pulumi data with any external data sources you like to build dashboards and track the metrics that are most important to your organization. The third and final feature of Pulumi Insights is Pulumi AI. Pulumi AI is a coding assistant purpose-built for writing Pulumi programs. All you do is enter a natural language prompt describing infrastructure for any of the providers in the Pulumi ecosystem, select one of the languages Pulumi supports, and Pulumi AI will do the rest. Pulumi AI is freely available both as a web UI and as a command line tool. Pulumi also has features that empower organizations to deploy cloud infrastructure at scale. Using Pulumi's innovative automation API, Platform teams can build web and command line tools that enable development teams to deploy their workloads via a self-service model. Because Pulumi programs use real programming languages, platform teams can also share production-ready building blocks in standard language packages, enabling development teams to consume these packages in their own Pulumi programs using the tools they already know. Pulumi Cloud also enables self-service infrastructure via Pulumi deployments. Pulumi Deployments is a fully managed platform for provisioning infrastructure at scale. Pulumi Deployments gives organizations a fast, simple, secure path to set up infrastructure pipelines. Pulumi Cloud is the SaaS component of the Pulumi platform, and it provides a number of useful features. First, Pulumi Cloud provides zero-touch, secure, and reliable storage for Pulumi state files and secrets management that ensures your secrets are safely encrypted in transit and at rest. Pulumi Cloud also empowers organizations to collaborate with Teams and Git integrations so that you know who changed what and when. Finally, Pulumi Cloud helps your organization operate securely with policy enforcement that ensures your application teams are deploying compliant infrastructure as well as audit logs and single sign-on. Let's take a look at a real-life example of how Pulumi can help you ship infrastructure faster. I'm going to start with Pulumi's AKS template in TypeScript. This template gives me a working AKS cluster with authentication via Azure Active Directory. All I have to do is enter a few prompts, and once that's done, I have a working AKS cluster I can deploy workloads to or configure add-ons if I choose. Now that my template has initialized my Pulumi program, I can deploy my infrastructure with the Pulumi up command. First, Pulumi will give me a preview of the updates it will make to my infrastructure. If this looks good, I can select yes to continue and Pulumi will create my infrastructure. Now that the Pulumi up command has completed and I have a cluster stood up, let's deploy a workload, say the WordPress Helm chart. Pulumi makes it really easy to manage both my Kubernetes resources and my cloud infrastructure with a single tool. First, 
I add a reference to the Pulumi Kubernetes provider in my program. Then I import the provider's SDK at the top of my program. Now I'm ready to add Kubernetes resources. First, I'll instantiate a new Pulumi Kubernetes provider using the cube config from the AKS cluster I created earlier. Notice that as I type, IntelliSense works in VS Code as expected with no extensions required. Code completion and inline docs work automatically in any IDE. This is because Pulumi uses real programming languages that let me use the tools I'm already familiar with. Then I'll create a Helm chart and deploy it to my cluster. Later, I'll export the IP address of the WordPress front end. We'll use this to show that WordPress is up and running in just a moment. Finally, we'll run Pulumi up to deploy our changes. Just like before, we'll get a preview of our changes before anything happens. Notice how Pulumi correctly detects only what has changed in my program. It will create only my new resources, not the ones that have already been deployed. If this looks good, we can select yes to update our infrastructure. Now that Pulumi up has finished running, let's verify that WordPress is working. First, we'll get the IP address of the WordPress front end from the Pulumi stack output command. Now we can open this address in a web browser and voila, we have an up and running WordPress installation running on AKS. Now that we're done, we can tear down all of our resources with the Pulumi destroy command. Just like with Pulumi update, we get a preview before any action is taken. And if this looks good, we can select yes to continue. Once the command completes, all of our infrastructure has been torn down and everything is just like before. To get started with Pulumi, head to pulumi.com where you can find out about upcoming workshops, explore our templates to help you quickly get started using Pulumi, and sign up for a free trial of Pulumi Cloud with free access to all of our enterprise features for 14 days with no credit card required. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great experience at Microsoft Build.